So today I will be demonstrating how to install a RAM and solid state drive into a Toshiba Portage R930 laptop. And we have a Kingfast 256 gigabyte solid state drive and two Samsung 4 gigabyte uh, DDR3 1600 megahertz RAMs equal eight gigabytes total. Installation is really quite simple. All you need is a Phillips head screwdriver. So let's go to the bottom of the laptop case. And first let's remove the battery. Okay, and the RAM is underneath this panel. We have two DIMM slots and the SSD is accessible through this panel here. So we have a screwless design here. The SSD actually, or the 2.5 inch hard drive, just fits into some plastic holders here. And it fits quite snug if I can remember correctly. And we have a ribbon cable connecting to the motherboard to a SATA power and SATA connection. And we simply just plug the SSD into the appropriate area. Okay. And it's handy to pull up this plastic tab just for easy removal later on. And you can simply just gently press down and you'll notice that it fits quite nicely. And there's also some extra pads on the rear, on the underside of the, of the panel. So you just have to gently put some pressure down and get those screws back in. Now the RAM install is just as easy. So line up the RAM in the DIMM slot. Gently press in and push down. And that's it. Now we're ready to put the panel back on. We'll put the battery back in. Now we can plug the power adapter cable into the laptop and I'll be installing Windows 10 Pro 64-bit. So here's my Windows boot drive. So first thing we can do is power on the laptop and enter BIOS. And to do this, you power on and start hitting F2. All right, as we see here, our eight gigabytes of DDR3 RAM is recognized and our Kingfast solid state drive is also recognized. And here's some CPU information too. One nice thing about these um, laptops that I picked up is that they have an i7-3540M CPU installed. Um, so this is not a quad core CPU, but it is a faster version of the i5 dual core to four thread CPU. Now to make sure that the solid state drive is the first boot option, you navigate over to the advanced tab, scroll down until you reach change boot order, press enter. And here we see the hard drive slash SSD is number one and the USB memory is number two, which is good because that is our Windows boot drive. So we can hit escape, hit F10 to exit while saving changes, and I'll install Windows 10 and come back for a wrap up of this tutorial. Okay, just for review, when you do boot on the laptop, you hit F12 on the keyboard in order to reach the boot menu. And here we can manually select the USB drive, just in case the solid state drive or hard drive you're putting in the laptop already has another operating system and you need to format it in the Windows 10 install, which I'll demonstrate in one moment. All right, so we want to hit next once we are greeted with this uh, dialog and hit install now. 
here I'll activate with the product key later on if I need to. For now we'll select I don't have a product key and we'll go and select Windows 10 Pro 64-bit from the menu. And now we'll hit custom install Windows only and as you can see here there's four partitions currently on the solid state drive to erase those on the keyboard hold down shift and press F10 to pull up disk uh, pull up command prompt rather once in command prompt you can type disk part for disk partition and once in we can type list disk and now we can see that Disk 0 is our 5 or 256 gigabyte solid state drive. Disk 1 is the USB. So we can type select disk 0. And to format, we can just simply type clean. Now we can type exit and exit again. And back in this menu, we can hit the refresh button. And now we're greeted with a single partition for drive zero and we're ready to start installing Windows. Right now we have Windows 10 installed and it is actually quite good for performance. Um, this concludes the install tutorial. If you have any questions, just leave a comment and otherwise maybe you can share something that I missed or you can share what you upgraded your Toshiba uh, Portage R930 with. Alright, have a nice day.